Hi, Dave Chedgy here from uh, Dynamic Health Pool. Sun's shining, the summer's here, the kids are breaking up from holiday, but now's the time when a lot of people tend to slack from their exercise regime. Just gonna run through today a full body workout. It's gonna take five minutes, hit session, gonna hit all body parts, and there's no excuses for being able to squeeze it at some point in during your uh, busy weeks. So, most people cite not doing the exercise because they haven't got the time, the space, or the equipment. The beauty of this one is that all you need is two meters by three meters, yourself, and a little bit of time. So it would have been, as I said, all it takes is five minutes. So whether you're on holiday or you've got the kids at home, no excuses. You can obviously find countless numbers of uh, hip routines on the internet, but the beauty of this one is it hits a number of things that not all of them do. We're going to do lower body, upper body, core, get that CV work going as well, your heart's going to be going, and we're going to also be doing some functional movement. So it's five exercises, as I said, it's going to last about five minutes. So we're going to start through, start with the first one, which is called a kick through, and probably the most technical one. So, very simple exercise, but made up of three distinct movements. So we start in this position, hands planted, front leg on the floor, back leg sticking up. We're going to come to this position, slide through, and the, make sure your front leg's on the floor, back leg sticking up, and your hands still on the floor. Back to the middle and through. So it's one, two, three. And what we're going to try and do is speed it up so we get this sort of movement. Ideally, once you uh, get more, you've done, have more and more practice at this, we're actually almost going to miss out the middle part. So we're just pushing straight through. So you're going to do 14 of these. And we're, but this time we're just going to slow it down, bring your feet up, foot up and through. So up, down, up, down. And later on, you can try and miss out that middle section. So 40 kick throughs, and as you'll probably feel, that's gonna really get your heart going, working your core, upper and lower body. Number two exercise, rhino walk. So, down into a squat position, bum sticking out, try and keep your back nice and straight. And you're gonna do two steps, Twist and just plant your knee at the ground. I'm doing it in a very confined space, but you probably will have a little bit more room. Move around, and it's almost, well it is impossible to do this and not look stupid, as you can, as you can tell from uh, watching me. Keep moving, I am timing this. So we're gonna do about a minute of rhino walking. Stay nice and low. Don't squat and come up to this position. Nice and low, keep moving, and great for the functional movement as well. All these type of movements, great for when you wanna run around with the kids. Last couple. Right, number three, full body exercise. We're going into skiing squats. So we're gonna plant our elbows on the inside of our knees, and just count 12. We're going to do a count of 12 and a count of 10. So that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then just push your elbows back and your bum in the air. Try and get your legs reasonably straight. Again, this is great for that functional movement. Any skiers out there, you'll start recognising that burn in the quads when you've uh, Done one run too many, or not putting in your turns. And then we're going to come back down, and hold for a count of ten. Legs really beginning to burn now. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then ten push throughs again. Bump straight in the air, straighten your legs. Just make sure you're not actually leaning on your elbows. You just push it using them to guide your knees back. And you can shake that out. Feel the burn. Right, number four of our exercises. Old school burpee. This is the gold standard of full body 
simple exercises. If you have to take one exercise on a desert island, take the burpee. Right, so we're going to start off doing a simple version. So squat thrust in, jump up, down, squat thrust back. If you want to really test yourself, I'm going to put a press up in there. Squat in and jump. And jump. I'm going to do 12 of these. Try not to uh, bounce your nose, sort of nose off the floor. Last couple. Four exercises. So final one, number five. We're going to come down to mountain climbers. So into your squat thrust position. Hands just underneath shoulders. Take your knee to the middle and drive it. Brace that core. Nice quick movements. As fast as you can. We we'll do 45 seconds. All out. As you can hear from my breathing. Heart, lungs, all being worked, as well as my core and legs here. And you're feeling the triceps as well, just staying in this squat position. Last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to rest there. So there we have it. About five minutes of work. We've hit all body parts. If you want to really extend yourself, you can do another, another one or another two sets of that. That will keep you going throughout the summer. Try and do it at least twice a week, three times if possible. Have a great summer. Most of all, keep moving.